So the thing about carbon fiber is when you have it laid up at the same thickness as steel, it is four times the strength, but a third of the weight. So you can have a lot of weight reduction, which is crucial in motorsports. The lighter you can get and the more horsepower, the faster you can go. So currently I'm working on a hard line. It is a, uh, it's what we used to use flex tubing for, uh, big rubber hoses. Well, now we can save weight and direct airflow a little better. We actually build all of our own molds in house. Once we have the mold made out of whichever shape we need to, we'll actually go through and take the carbon itself and lay it down. It comes in big sheets and it has a sticky backing to the back of it, just like you would a sticker or decal. So right now I'm just bolting the mold together so that way we can make one solid part. So carbon fiber is actually one of the newest technologies in manufacturing in general over the past 25, 30 years. Every single job has its own different skill level and skill set. And this is one that's very underappreciated because a lot of people just don't understand it. What I'm doing now is I'm taking the part that we laid up earlier. I'm gonna go and seal up the bag. I'm gonna suck all of the air out of it, trying to compress the carbon that's now been laid up into the mold, as solid as it can be because the flatter the surface is of the carbon and the more resin and air that we can get pushed out, the better structure that the part itself is gonna have. You see somebody trying to bag everything up. And you look for all these wrinkles and why we're spending so much time bagging even an unlayup side on the mold. The reason for that is if we have something that bridges across, now whether it's bagging or even carbon, when this thing goes to hit pressure, it would actually create a hole right here and pop that bag, as you can kind of see what it would want to do here, where it stretches. If it pops that bag, then all the work that we did into this, the laying up, the cutting, the material, all that is done. So we have to cook everything in an autoclave, which is just a big pressure cooker, or as Alan Park likes to call it, the time bomb. So what we do is we actually take compressed air and we have to press all of that air inside of this big tank. At the same time, it's raising heat and pressure in order to conform the part as closely and solid as it can to the mold. Now, at any time that we have a leak in a bag, that will end up causing us to lose pressure in that specific part, and we'll end up losing that part. And all of our four, eight, 12, 16 hours that we spent building that is now lost. So we have to be very meticulous in the work that we do when it comes to working with an autoclave.